So today on Hoopty Doodle, we make this steering stem for our motorcycle out of this one and a quarter inch rod. All right, so that is as far back into the chuck that I can get with this diameter rod. First, I need to face this off, and then I need to do a center drill. Get my little center drill here, and put a hole on the end of that, and then we're gonna bring this guy in, and we're gonna put my live center on there, this guy here, and then that will allow us to keep this thing steady and then we'll go ahead and do our lathing on it. Bring this thing down to the size we want and we'll keep checking it with our calipers to make sure we're where we want to be. All right, let's take a gander at how this thing spins, right? All right, so I've got my little facing bit on here. I'm gonna go ahead and face this end here of the rod so that's nice and flat. Look at that. All right, so now I need to get in here with my center drill and mark the center of that guy. All right, now I'm gonna get my little live center on here, install this guy, and then I've gotta arrange everything else so that all these things line up. All right, so now when I turn it on, this whole thing will spin together. And that helps keep this thing nice and level for me as I run through it with my, my little bit here on the end of this guy. And then I can just shave off metal. All right, so I first wanna mark this on the end here where I actually ultimately want the whole length of this thing to be. So where I'm gonna end up cutting this. So I'm gonna go ahead and mark that first. That sort of lets me know where my stopping point is. So now we got a nice little line. All right, and then I've got my calipers. I'm gonna go ahead, start measuring this thing in here. Get an idea what our diameter is currently. I'm gonna make my first pass, and this whole thing needs to be machined down quite a bit. So I've amended my drawing here so that it sort of shows me the measurements, the diameters that I'm going for on the lathe, so I can use my calipers over there. All right, so we're currently at just under one and a quarter. All right, so that first pass, we took off a couple thousands. So I still got a bit to go here. I'm gonna be here machining for a while. All right, we've got stuff machined down quite a bit. Here, we're now at 0.999. I'm gonna go through with my file just a little bit and just smooth this out just a little bit more and that'll be exactly where we want it. All right, now we finally got this thing machined up the way we want it. Now I've got my little cutting blade, my tool holder. We're gonna set this thing up. We're gonna cut this guy like right there. So I'm gonna take this out of the chuck here. I'm gonna flip it around and then we'll cut it off. To cut the end, the excess piece off the end there. Look at that thing. Look how much we cut off. I want my blade here to be as short as possible, sticking out on the end here and I need to go at least halfway through the diameter of this of the thing I'm cutting. All right, you can see the blade, how it comes past the halfway point. That's good. All right, so now I gotta get this situated so that it is as straight that way as I can manage it. And to do that, I'm doing it on the front face here. Sort of lining everything up there. And if we need to adjust it later, we can. All right, with that set, I'm gonna bring this thing back and move it into position. All right, now it's time for a test fit. We've got our bearing. Let's see. Oh yeah, that's about, about perfect, dude. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead, set up my chuck on this end here. Install my center drill bit. We drill another hole in the end of this guy, and the other end, we're gonna actually try and drill and tap that one. All right, so we've got this thing drilled out at this point. Since I'm modeling this after the Harley Davidson stem that I had, I'm using the Harley Davidson uh, 
bolt that goes on the top there as a reference for how deep I want this hole to be. And I'm basically, I'm drilling it in and I'm actually making the hole about 50% deeper than this bolt is. So something like that is basically where we're at on this thing at the moment. And that is where we're gonna leave it. Now we're gonna try and tap this thing. All right, so we got my tap set up here in the, in the lathe. I'm gonna go ahead and try and rotate this thing by hand. All right, so that's it for this tap here. I've gone as far down as I can with this guy. I believe this is called like a starter tap. You can kind of see how it, it tapers at the top there to allow it to start in to the hole and get things going. And here I'm gonna finish it off with this, perhaps this is called a finishing tap or like an end tap, but you can see how this is not tapered compared to this guy. So this is for the bottom of the hole. This will reach down, the threads will reach down to the bottom of the hole. Let's see if we get this guy in here. There, I think that's it. Let's take this out and see what we got. So there, you can see we got some threads down in there. All right, so now we finally have our steering stem. Look at this thing. And now I've got this bolt here from the store. This is the shortest 5 8 bolt that I could find. And I'm gonna have to shorten it some more. Threads down into there. I'm just gonna mark that, bring it out. Let's see how far that is. All right, let's measure this. So it threads down in like an inch and one eighth. That means we need like an inch of thread on here. I can cut it, cut this bolt, man. And you know what, if I mess up, I'll get another bolt. I'm not scared to do this. I'm not scared to do it, people. Let's see if that still works. Oh yes. Oh yes, my friends. Look at that. Perfect. Done. All right, so I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. The end result here, you can actually see on the bottom, it is much nicer finish down here. And this is the point at which I actually learned how to use the lathe. <laughs> yeah, I very simply did not tighten this guy down right here, which stabilizes this guy here. And I had a little bit of wobble in the shaft as it was spinning in the lathe and that resulted in a rough finish. But up here, things are a little bit rougher because I don't know what I'm doing. But I learned something today and that is a major thing. And on the top here, we've got this nice little customly sized bolt. We had to trim this thing down and I'm very happy with how that turned out. Everything is what we need to do the rest of this job. Next, in our next episode, we're going to try and actually attach this guy to this guy. Try and get this guy so it'll fit into there. And we're gonna weld it on the very bottom of this. So look forward to that, everybody. Thanks for watching this episode. Keep on wrenching yourself. Enjoy your projects. And we'll see you next time.